Now they've been hit with three historic floods in the last 15 years now. Residents along the Big Sioux River in Dakota Dunes and North Sioux City, they're bracing for impact again. And that brought South Dakota Governor Christy Noem to North Sioux City this afternoon. KTIV's Katie Koppel starts us off live with coverage of that. She joins us now from along the Big Sioux River. And Katie, what Governor Noem have to say? Well, Larry, it was standing room only at the North Sioux City Fire Hall this afternoon as Governor Noem and several state and local representatives came together to brief us on really what's happening. I want you to take a look behind me. I'm going to step out of the frame here just so you can see it. Look how high this water level is here. We're down at the Missouri River Boat Club along the Big Sioux River just at the Iowa-South Dakota state line. Now, when I drove into Dakota Dunes earlier today about 1.45, this was not this high, but I want to show you what it looked like this morning. Let's get that uh, video up. We shot some drone video earlier today from Skylink 4, and you can see the water level from this morning. I mean, it's high. It was definitely, definitely rising. But let's take a look at what uh, my, my colleague Morgan Jones shot just a few hours ago at about 3.30. The water level was even higher. And then when you take a look at what we saw just a moment ago where I'm at today, this water is rising very, very fast here on the Big Sioux River. And that seems to be the biggest area of concern for officials, including Governor Nome. Uh, not necessarily the Missouri River, but the Big Sioux River. There's a lot of uh, unregistered and, and other tributaries that flow into the Big Sioux River that are, are really causing a lot of this flooding from all this rain. Now, officials are going to be closing Interstate 29 in less than an hour. That's going to close at 6 p.m. tonight from exit 4 to exit 9. At exit 4, they're going to be building a brand new levee to hopefully curb the effects of the flooding that we could see here along the Big Sioux River and the Missouri and also dumping that into McCook Lake. That's also a big concern for residents here along the area. Now, uh, Governor Christy Noem touched on that closure today and, and why it needs to happen. We do plan to close the interstate later on tonight to build a levee system across it. Uh, to do that to protect infrastructure so we'll be making that announcement and working towards getting that constructed so that we can control as much of the flow of water as we possibly can that'll join up and protect some of the other levees that we see and make sure that we're diverting traffic around that levee as it's built across the interstate now, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers was also on hand this afternoon. They say the water is nearly to the top of the Gavin's Point Dam, and right now uh, they're, not, they're not too worried, but th there's also not a lot they can do. They say uh, people downriver should, should definitely be prepared, but they're also monitoring that situation very closely. So we look at north-central Nebraska, southeastern South Dakota, and northwest Iowa. We've had a tremendous amount of rain over the last seven, eight days. And I think the Net National Weather Service has categorized it in upwards of 600% of average, all right? And so that's what's really contributing to kind of the numbers that uh, Governor Nome talked about, right? We're talking about historic flows on unregulated tributaries into the Missouri River. Those unregulated flows, that heavy rain causing this flooding that we're seeing here across the tri-state region. For those that live in Dakota Dunes, North Sioux, or really anywhere along these, uh, the Big Sioux River, the Missouri River, they are urging you to take precautions. Dakota Dunes putting out a voluntary evacuation notice uh, for residents. Now, if the levy should be topped that they have in place, and they are working on reinforcing those levees at the moment, if those are topped or if they fail, there's going to be a mandatory evacuation in place. Officials urging everyone to be prepared and to take this seriously. I think we've got one more video to show you, and that is from the Sioux City uh, Riverfront over at the Sioux City Boat Dock near the Hilton. This is video from earlier today. Again, the Missouri River is still a, a major concern for a lot of officials here, but the biggest one I think for, for many people is, is the Big Sioux River. Um, if we can come back on camera here, I want you to just see what we're dealing with. Again, so the, I'm gonna have Morgan maybe move the camera here so you can see it. You can see the old Missouri River Boat Club that uh, is right behind me. And, and mind you, this thing has, that has flooded several times. You can see uh, the boat lifts, the tents, the docks have already floated away. I think luckily everyone has gotten their boat out of the water. Uh, but just in the few, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so that we've been standing here, this water has already risen quite a bit. So if you live on and along the Big Sioux River, the Missouri River, please take caution.